a number of plants just out of one area and the first thing that I noticed is that as I had suggested or predicted we are talking about relatively forward looking plants and I'm just going to pull out apart the, the, the bigger tillers because they're the ones that we will judge the growth stages from and come once we get to this time of the year then there are two things that we're most interested in in terms of assessing the growth stage uh, one will be is the plant gone into stem extension are the nodes beginning to move up and the last one then will be what what leaf is that where are we on in terms of the leaves that are coming out of the plant so that's that's what we're after okay so at this stage now we need to see uh, what's what's happening growth stage wise and the uh, first thing I'll always do is just pull off the leaf remember there's the leaf then down to the leaf sheet which is carrying all the nutrients from the leaf and then it joins up the plant here at a node at the bottom so depending on the stage the plant is at the nodes can be fa far up or, or low down on the crop uh, just looking here at this one I can already see that the node first node is already evident here at about two centimeters from the base so we're very definitely pushed into stem extension it's hard to know beyond that normally you'd feel it and I think everything is here in a lump in there but you're never quite sure until you pull it apart normally for this thing I would always pull apart more leaves because I would always like to know maybe more so in wheat but I also like to know in barley where we are relative to uh, the final leaves what what leaf is actually coming out okay so there I can see the node is there the color beneath it and the color above it are slightly different when you're doing it in practice but what I want to show very quickly now is if I take the next leaf which is the last fully unfolded leaf at the moment and just strip the leaf sheets back all the way down to the node you can see that that leaf sheet ends at the node and really what the node is the node is the junction box for the plumbing from the leaf into the stem that's what the nodes actually are and in the growth process when a plant is moving from the vegetative which is the grass growing stage to the reproductive stage and that goes for all grasses whether it's a cereal or a maize plant or a, or a grass plant per se when that happens um, growth is taking place actually from and above the node so we get all kinds of hormones produced in there and there if we can see relatively quickly where the leaf sheet is coming down and it's joining there at the node and that's as I say again where the plumbing is so I can quickly now see again that all of the other areas associated with the growing point because the growing point is above the node always and remember the head is in here and everything is being pushed up from there so I'm just going to slice this apart now because this is what I would always do rather than trying to split everything down if you go straight up the middle of the stem and then look at each half you can see what's actually going on so rather than stripping them all apart I can now turn it in here and perhaps I haven't just gone altogether tight enough on that just another little sliver off of it and I can strip apart in here all the remaining leaves of the plant that is the flag leaf I know everybody won't necessarily know that um, by doing it the first first hand and in there and I can just clean it up ever so slightly is the head the actual developing ear for that particular stem and that particular plant okay so, so when you when you slice it apart and remove all the leaves up here at the top basically you're left with the developing ear now I know most people won't recognize that as a head of barley but that's what the head's going to be each of the individual structures in there will be growing getting bigger on a on a daily basis from here on and that's where all your yield is going to come from so in a barley crop you need x number of heads with x number of grains per head to set you up for maximum yield and that that's how barley uh, actually builds its yield and if we could see on the definition and i don't know whether we can or not on the camera the individual awns that are on each grains are already present there 
and they'll grow a little bit as time goes on to become much more visible in a few weeks time the awns will probably be about the same length again as the head and just that's just the way development moves it's normal and natural and uh, that's that's what plant growth is about just taking a quick look at the at the overall plant and the leaves and all um, you know crop is is, is uh, quite healthy uh, definite signs of both old mildew and new mildew in the plant and you know if I go back to any any one plant um, you know relatively few of all the leaves that were produced are still alive uh, and that's that's normal and natural you can see all the older ones here they're all kind of just dropping off um, combination of winter wear and tear, spring growth, uh, winter growth probably even more so as they try to grow the plant normally would scavenge on the older leaves to feed the growth in the new leaves. But you know that's normal, it's natural but you can see for, for people that don't have crops this strong just how much growth has come into the plants down here. And you know any one of the plants that I've picked and I didn't pick them from the strongest part of the field um, but any one of them, they all have, have uh, um, you know, relatively the same type of structure with a lot of the older leaves gone. Okay, I can see here on, on some of the older leaves, well indeed it's not that old because it's the, it's the second youngest unfolded leaf, quite a number of signs of, of old mildew uh, that have been there. They could probably be there for months at this stage. A few specks of what might be fresher mildew there on that plant and again on, on an even older leaf I can see even m many more signs and lesions of old mildew that's there on, on those leaves. Um, looking through all of the individual leaves you know there is mildew and I think it's probably fair to say mildew is the only disease that I can see on these plants but I know from speaking to people in recent days that a number of, of crops have actually taken on quite bad net blotch in in uh, the last week or so and that's a bit of a worry for others um, you know there again another leaf with lots of visible older mildew and I know that there's some of these leaves that I have and there's fresh mildew on them doesn't happen to be on this one but there, there is fresh mildew coming onto the leaves so mildew would look like a disease that's going to carry through the winter and will have to be addressed in the disease control program at the start of the year. So all in all, a healthy crop and we can look forward to driving these on and they look like crops that can well support the cost of disease control and crop protection from here. Okay, one, one of the things that I would always do when it comes to inspecting leaves, particularly for disease, is hold them up and always put them into the sunlight or the bright sky and look through the leaf into the brightness because lots of times you can see things as you look through the leaf that you can't see when you look down on the leaf. So either you go for good light frequently or, or poor light. There, virtually all of that discoloration that you're seeing in that frame on that leaf is old mildew lesions. Now you might or might not have seen them in, in a previous green, but you can't hide them when you put them up to the light like that. And It's a mechanism I would also use looking for rhynchosporium. Sometimes you can only see rhynchosporium lesions in the shade of the crop, down in the crop, you pick them up, you can't see it, but you put them into the light again and you can see them because anything that causes the discoloration in the leaf generally shines true when you look into the light from behind.